Hi from Speak More Clearly. Recently I was watching one of Michael McIntyre's YouTube clips. He's a British comedian and he talks about different accents. It was really interesting and very funny to see his take on how to speak with an Australian accent. In the first clip he talks about how long and stretched out Australian vowels are and also Notice once he gets his mouth into the right position, his tongue, lips and jaw position, how much he has to move his mouth parts to make the Australian sounds. Of course, he's overdoing it for effect, but even if you're speaking more quickly, you still can't cut the vowels short. You still need to put your tongue, lips and jaw into the right position first and move your mouth enough though maybe not quite as much as he's moving his mouth. Have a look at the first clip. Because Australia is a little bit different. It's much slower in Australia. They take their time. In fact, the they love the vowels. <laughs> when they see a vowel, they're just like, we're going to stay there. I hope you found that funny. In the second clip, he emphasises that often the mouth is more relaxed to speak with an Aussie accent. So what I mean by more relaxed, um, I was working with one of our students recently and he was saying the word good, um, but what was happening was he was making his lips too tight. It was almost sounding like a British accent. He was saying good, good. And for the Australian, for the o oh in good, the lips are much more relaxed and the mouth is more open, good. Good, not, but yeah, you can see that the lips are more relaxed there. Good, good. So that's what I mean by more relaxed. It's not as forward and tight as the British accent, let's say. Of course, in the second clip, it's an over-exaggeration and very funny also, but he actually slows the mouth movements down so you can see what's happening. Have a look at the second clip. The people who haven't left Australia are the most relaxed people I think I've ever come across. <laughs> they literally have all the time in the world to finish <laughs> sentences. I mean, we're 13 hours ahead. You're never going to catch up anyway. I hope you got a laugh as well as some extra insight into how to speak with an Australian accent. Don't forget to subscribe to the Speak More Clearly channel to get more great training videos and you can find more information on our in-depth training in our Australian accent course in the description below. Just click on the link. Bye for now.